Hi, I'm Ethan Moore. And I'm Dylan Greer. And welcome to the Fairview High School versus Camden uh, girls basketball game. For your starting lineup for Camden, it's Carly Hudson, Morgan Hunt, Christian Caps, Reagan Taylor, Paige Hampton, Hannah uh, Hunden, Jenna Taylor, Noel Lowe, Bailey Badford, Badford, Brittany Miner, Peyton Hunt, and Caitlin Bradford. And for your lineup for the Fairview uh, girls team, it's Sarah Mangrum, Haley Savage, Molly Graham, Jesse Mangrum, Ashley Jordan, Heather Simmons, Carly Arney, Kyra Bowman, Haley Robbie, Ka Audrey Cox, Harley Orr, Ruth Ann Sewell, Desiree Sanchez, Sin and Sydney Klein. Special thanks to everyone in the broadcasting room for making this happen. Uh, for producer Jordan Fisher, director Annie Phillips, Bobby Stevens, Kyle Beck, and Josh Whitlock as cameras, and Ethan Moore and Dylan Guerrero as commentators. So, uh, looks like Fairview uh, got the tip off, and it looks like we're, we're waiting, on waiting on something. I don't know what we're waiting on. Oh, it looks like we're waiting on something. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm pretty lost. Ref's just standing there. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, how uh, do you think Fairview's been doing this year so far, Dylan, yeah, basketball-wise? Uh, boys team, um, we're looking good. We're looking good out there is what we're doing. We're making big plays. Here at Fairview, yeah, and the girls' team same as well, same as well. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with you. I feel like we've been playing some good ball last couple games of the season, and hope we can continue to uh, play. This is the last game, Ethan. Still don't know. What we're waiting on here at Fairview High School. <laughs> refs are just see. They're one of our cameras of the refs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so <laughs> oh, uh, looks like they're messing with the clock. Looks like there was a problem uh, with the clock. Okay, yeah, and our score isn't even up there. Oh wait, we're still at zero. It looks like it half the surprise. scoreboard's not even working. Uh, but we're gonna continue anyway. I guess we're just gonna go old school and keep it down by hand. <laughs> Molly playing up as point guard. Looking to go into Jesse Mangrum here, passing the ball around. Trying to look That's, for that. It always seems to be their game plan. Just pass around in three until they either have a lane or an open three shot. Yeah, passing it to the free throw line, looking for the shot. Around Ooh. the three throw. Oh, oh, and Jesse Mangrum is packed. And number four for Camden's. Running down the court. Oh, she might shoot oh. a three. She shoots it up. Oh. Oh, hits oh. the rim, bounces off. Oh. Out of bounds. Off of Fairview, and it's going to be Fairview. Camden's ball. So, opening play of the game by Fairview. Jesse trying to pop that shot, but just barely barely got tipped and got packed. But, ooh. oh. And Camden with three. It's Camden up three to zero, six to zero. Sarah Mangrum dribbling down the court, passes all the way down to Kyra Bowman. Kyra Bowman sticks at the three. She tries to drive in, goes up for a shot, and air ball. Here does here's Desiree, and nothing from it either. Oh, and Desiree gets the ball back. Oh wow! Three. Nice steal by Desiree. Gonna pass it to Molly. Molly from the top. Molly looking. looks like she's gonna call a play here. Yeah, looking to do something with the ball. Oh, looks like we almost had a mishap there. Looks like almost Molly almost missed the ball, but Jesse. Ooh, oh, nice Desiree pass down up again low for the layup and packed again. And it looks like it's going to be Fairview's ball again on Score our side of the court. Score is 6-0. And looking, oh, with and the And Camden steal. instantly steals the ball as soon as the ball's thrown in. Great. Nice. All the way down the court, up for the layup. Sarah oh. Mangrum almost packs it, not close enough. Camden coming out to play. Timeout Fairview. Camden coming out to play, 8-0 to in the first. Looking rough here in the first. Uh, period. In the first like a minute and <laughs> six seconds, they're up eight to zero. Uh, Fairview looking to uh, get in the groove, try to score some points. Coach is kind of trying to find yeah. us a game plan here. Yeah, and it's gonna be Fairview's ball. 
coming the other direction. That was a nice pass down low uh, from Camden, getting that cherry pick for the easy layup. Nice look, nice pass. And here we are with Fairview's ball. Throwing in to Sarah Mangrum. Sarah passing it to Jesse. Jesse's going to dribble it. I'd Looks say like Jesse is one of our best players. What do you say? Jesse's really good. She's uh, definitely a threat, not only from outside, but can really drive the ball and do multiple things. Agreed, agreed. Not much of a student section tonight, but, uh, I mean, it's just a girls' game. We should. It's only first period of the girls' game as well. Yeah. Right? So we should uh, rack up a little bit of a crowd being the last game. Fairview looks like they're trying to play a 2-3 zone. Camden might shoot from the three here. Looking for the open man. Open. Looks like all they have to do. Oh, 14 has a ball three. Oh, looking to pass. Pick by Camden, trying to get her open. Fairview's defense is looking good tonight. Yeah, really keeping them outside. Making it hard for them. Oh, he, she finds a lane, throws it up, and gets another score. Mm. So, 10 to 0. Well, we I hope it's 0. I don't want to be saying 0 and it's not, but our scoreboard shows nothing. And I don't think we've scored anything, but let's hope not. So, looks like... Uh, looks like Molly's trying to call it's the play. Kyra, but Molly has ball right now. It's Kyra. Kyra looking to call the play. Oh, Ooh, down the oh, oh nice pass. Desiree down low. almost gets the ball. Number 12 for Cannon driving in, throws it up. Fast. Easy, too, for her. She's a big girl. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so two fast breaks for Camden for scores. And let's hope Fairview High School can get in a groove, start scoring some points, start getting some points on the board. You know, see what we can get out of them here. Fairview High School playing some good defense, though, in the first couple minutes of the game. Obviously not good enough, though, as we stay in 12 0 Yeah. So, Camden Fairview High School. just has us by that extra notch. Yeah. Fair Camden seems like they're playing some good defense down low, though, keeping us outside. Pretty Make decent, pretty decent. Yeah, decent on both ends of the court, playing good defense on both ends. If we just upped ours to theirs, we'd be set at a tie. Yes, sir. There's the buzzer, and looks like we're going to come out of timeout with Fairview High School's ball. Looks like Molly's going to throw it in. <clears throat> and it looks like Camden's going to try to play that uh, full court press, trying to get steals and stuff. And stuff. Wow. Oh. There you go. Playing a trap, it looks like, against us. Oh, wow. Oh, and Fairview has the ball down. And um, he gets stolen again. Camden defense looking great tonight. Oh, Camden throws all the way down the court. Oh. Oh, stuck at the three again. Fairview's defense just not letting them do anything. Nice. Number 12 for Camden looks like a big threat for them. Yeah. She's, she, looks, she seems to be like a very good player. She just keeps, she just runs all over the court. Oh, wow. Really she is. Oh, 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 and it looks maybe like almost the and one. So it's going to be a foul in the act of shooting. So she's going to shoot shoot two. And, and there's a little bit more of our scoreboard. It looks like. Oh, and she makes Ooh. the first. 13 to 0. With only three minutes. Well, a little under four minutes left in the first quarter. First period. And makes her, oh, and doesn't make her third. Oh, and it's going to be Camden's ball. <laughs> and uh, Fairview trying to go for the rebound, but it looks like two girls went up for it at the same time, and they both knocked it out. Oh, nice pass outside. Camden just throwing around the three as they usually do. Oh, and she's pushed, almost pushed out of bounds. Camden going to try to play Play that three point. Yeah. Hands are off the ball. Back to the three point. Oh, Shoots wow. It up. Oh, oh, and what a play by Camden. Great ball rotation there as Good. they actually got it back out to the three. Good ball movement. Camden and got three points on the board. 
Ooh, Kyra Bowman up for it, misses. Kyra Bowman. Kyra Bowman trying to go coast to coast and just couldn't put it in. Oh, wow. All the way down that was the court by Camden. Thrown over the middle. Oh, she loses the ball. Shoots two. Oh, and misses. Oh, wow, that was a far throw down court. Seems like we have Audrey Cox on the court now. I just noticed. She's a very, uh, I feel like in by her junior year, she'll be a great player. She'll be grown a little bit. Yeah. Have a little bit more weight on her. She'll be a great player. <laughs> oh. So, foul in the act of shooting. Her first. Oh, just barely clanks out. Barely clanks off the back of the rim. She's going to shoot her second. Hopefully bring this score to 1-16. to 16. And <laughs> oh, and she makes her second. And Camden. Camden wow. just always throwing all the way down the court. Another three, and she oh. sinks it. Number Break. 34, is that? Yeah. I believe. Yeah. So, Camden getting another steal. Oh, Goodness. and another three, and sunk again. Fairview has... We have one point. It says, <laughs> okay. All right, obviously that isn't right. <laughs> Or maybe it is. We made a free throw. Okay. <laughs> There's one one on the board. <laughs> Camden up. There's 20. always a way. Uh, down the court again and miss. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she dodged both of the backs and sunk it. <laughs> oh, my God. And they stole the ball back. <laughs> so, the score right now is 24 to 1. And... Uh, Fairview High School. It's looking rough. Looking rough is what it's doing. With it's one. still the first period, and they've already scored 24 points. We've scored one. Hey, but we are a no-quit team. We got this. A no-quit team. Yes, sir. Or you could say we're not quitters, but we're going to get off topic. Right. So, looks like there was a foul on the floor against Camden. And... It looks like it's going to be a throw in from the side. And Kyra going to, no, that's Molly going to throw it in. Over to Jesse. Jesse looking to do Fairy something. With trying the ball. to make a little ball movement here. Over to Sarah. Oh, oh and Jesse for the shot misses the two. Barely misses the two. Just and here's barely. number 12 again rushing down the court. Over to the three. Oh, what she did. Oh, if they get another three. So. Back out to the three. Ooh. And that 32 right there. Yeah. That's the one you want to watch for that three point. She is. She is the one to get it. She is three for three, I think. Oh, and they passed the ball to her. Oh, but great defense by Sarah Manger as she, as she oh, and it smacks like, the ball out. Looks like it's going to be a foul against Camden. Going to be Fairview's ball on the corner. Corner throw in. I like it. Like it a lot. So score still twenty four to one. And we are now under two minutes. So one minute left in the first period. Ashley Jordan in the game now. Number fifteen. Oh Sarah Manger goes up for the three. Oh, and it just bounces off the back of the rim. And number twelve with the ball. She's really seems like she's a big threat for Camden. Indeed. So is thirty two. Yeah, Who has the ball now, dribbling around the three. Oh, and a horrible pass to her teammate, which results in an out-of-bounds Fairview's ball. And it's going to be Fairview's ball coming the other direction. Molly going to dribble down the court, and it looks like they're going to have a little under a minute to do something with it. Camden really playing some great defense tonight, making it hard for us to score points. Just a little bit, considering we have one. Passing it around the top of the key. Looking for a shot. Oh, nice pass. Over to Jesse as she drives in the middle for the two. Oh, and just bounces off. Audrey Cox with the two and swishes it. First shot by Audrey Cox. Made. So the score now is 3-24. to 24. Camden. Man, they're really big about passing it down the court as fast as they can. Trying to get easy, uncontested points. Oh, and it looks like it's going to be a steal for Molly. And she puts it in. 
for a layup. Score now 24 to 5. Camden up. And about to come to the end of the period here as we yeah. count down with 16 15, seconds. 15 seconds left on the clock. Camden gonna look like they're gonna dribble it out to the last couple seconds of the game. Trying to get the last shot. As she uh, knocks it out of bounds. Looks like Molly knocked that ball out of bounds. It's going to be Camden's with a throw in from the side. With five seconds left on the clock, let's see what we'll do here. If they score in five seconds, I give them props. Oh, and she throws to Sarah Mangum. Sarah Mangum just dribbles down court. Shoots it. Oh, oh and an air ball. With .6 seconds left on the clock, Camden's ball. Let's see it, what happens. It looks like it's going to be actually Fairview's ball. It looked like there was a foul. Oh, okay, Fairview's ball. All right, if they throw it in, crowd's about to go crazy. I highly doubt it, though. Oh. Oh. oh an air ball just missed by a lot. Barely missed. That was a that was a good period. Camden played really great defense. Uh, had some good transition points. Had some good fast breaks. But Fairview, coming back from uh, – coming back just slowly – uh, score now is 24 to 5. And starting the second period, how does it look, Dylan? It's looking rough for Fairview, looking a bit dark and cloudy on their side. We got a game 24 to 5, Camden. Uh, it started the second period. Um, Jackets might do something. They tend to always come back just at the end. Yeah. So we'll see what happens here. Coach just gave them a big talking to. Look like they got yelled at just a little bit. Maybe that'll up their motivation here. Motivation is key to win games. Yes, sir. Yes. So, Fairview High School's ball starting in the second period. Hopefully we can do something with it. Hopefully make a three, make a couple threes. Slowly bring down the lead. That wouldn't be bad at all. Would not be bad at all. But it looks like Fairview's ball here as we enter the second period. Oh, down to Desiree. Oh, and she's packed out of nowhere by number four. She throws it all the way down the court. Open layup with a two. Camden and make it, making every little thing look easy on this court here tonight. Oh, Sydney decline. Oh, no, Ashley Jordan. She can't hold on. Camden's ball again. Number four driving in for the two. Oh, just misses it. Back to Camden's ball, number 12. From the three. Oh, and oh. air balls. Camden looking like they're not feeling the flow anymore. <laughs> yeah. Molly. Jesse from the three. Oh. Oh, and just misses. It'll be out on Camden. Fraser's yeah. ball. So. Wow. Easy. They, uh, Camden coming out, getting the fast break point, and then almost getting a steal for another point. Looks like Fairview's boss here. Mangs will throw it up to Sydney Klein. Oh, wow. And she scores with a nice. great two point. Nice throw in by Fairview for an easy point. Bringing Looks. their lead down to 19. Camden up by 19 against us. Oh, oh looks wow. Looks like Camden's ball with an open lane. Goes up for the impact by Desiree down low. Desiree's playing some great defense here in the second period already. Yeah. Beautiful backdoor cut by Camden. But Fairview High School playing great defense. Number 12 for Camden. She's one of their big players. If I could tell Fairview High School one thing is make sure you have defense on her. So Camden looking to find something to do with the ball. Dribbling it. Everywhere. Oh, and a foul on Ashley, Ashley Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. So, that's two fouls against Fairview and four fouls against Camden. And Camden going to continue to look for that drive. Oh, and it looks like there was another foul. And it looks like she's going to be shooting too. It was in the act of shooting. Foul against number 15. So... First one is a miss. Score still 26 to 7. And we're just about to be under six minutes in this second period. 
Indeed, Ethan, indeed. Oh, and he m she misses her second. Man, very high. Uh, Camden playing some good defense. Oh, Jesse drives down the middle, goes up for the hook shot on the layup, and misses. Sydney Klein goes down with the ball. It'll be jump ball and Camden's ball. Yep. Camden with the throw in. Still down by 19 as we are about six six minutes into second period here. Wow, making like skip passes across the court. Oh, oh it throws it right to Sarah Magum as she breaks free now in the court, trying to make that pass and is fouled by number, I think that is 32. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna call it in the act of shooting though. So, Sarah's gonna shoot two. Hopefully she can put him in. Slowly bring down the lead a little bit more. Cause that's all that matters. Sarah with her first. Oh, barely misses. Just barely off the back of the rim. And both teams have really come out in the second period and really showed off their stuff. Been playing good ball. And Sarah makes her second. Let's see, how many, we've scored two points into the second period. I guess that's what you, I guess it's better than no first period. Yeah. Oh, and uh, she shoots up a two, no good. Let's see, we have Jesse driving down the court now with the ball. Yep, Jesse. With number 12 closing in on her. Jesse looking to pass. Oh, and gets picked from the ball as number 14 drives down the court and hits the bottom of the rim. And she got fouled in the act of shooting, and she's going to shoot two as well. Jesse trying to take a foul instead of two points. Very smart game plan. Yes, sir. So, she makes her first. And bringing the score 27 to 8. Cheerleaders for Fairview pretty animate trying to get in their head and Camden getting the ball oh wow shooting the three-point shot oh and it's gonna be looks like it's gonna be a foul on the floor and it'll be Fairview's ball with uh, Sarah Mangum throwing in yeah Sarah gonna throw it in Sarah, going to dribble down the court for Fairview. Sarah is another great player that we have at Fairview High School. She's kind of like Jessie. She can shoot from the outside. She can drive, dribble well. Kind of one of those triple threats. Sarah. Oh, and Jessie is fouled. By Camden. And no. It looks like Jessie fouled Camden. And oh, like she got hit, I didn't think yeah. that. And it's going to be Camden's ball going down the court. And number 12 passing it out to the, to the corner, looking to shoot. Playing all, oh, wow. and all the way across. Yeah. Camden makes great passes from anywhere on the court. Long. It always seems to hit where they want. Yeah. Long passes. Ooh, nice spin. Oh, and, oh, and oh. almost a good pass by number four, but Sandy Klein takes the ball, and it seems like she hit her foot and went out of bounds. So it's going to be Camden's ball on the baseline. And looking to do something with the ball. Passing number four it. at the top from Camden. Uh, looks like I think they called a travel. Yeah, it looks like they called a travel on that. And it's going to be Fairview High School's ball. We're now under five minutes left in the game. And Fairview High School is still sitting at eight. There's Camden. Sarah Mangrum from the top. Fairview High School. Trying to drive in, do a little jump shot, oh. and makes it. As wow. she's fouled. And one. So bringing the score to 10 to 27. And we are showing a great effort of defense, uh, even more than in the first period. Yeah. 
Well, I don't think they've scored any points in a while here, so we're showing a little bit more effort. As Sarah Mangrum gets the ball and drives it for another two, and that's four points just by Sarah Mangrum. And like the last couple seconds, I was great getting the rebound off the. Oh, and Sydney Klein strips the ball. As Sarah Mangum drives in again for Fairview as she shoots it up. Oh, she gets a little bit too cocky. Oh, but Camden makes a bad pass and goes out of bounds. And it's going to be Fairview High School's ball. Throwing it in from the side to Sarah. Ooh, nice pass. Oh, and Molly loses a uh, grip of the ball. And goes out. No, it looks like we're going to call a timeout. Looks like Fairview High School called a timeout. Score now is 12 to 27 with seven fouls for Camden and five fouls for Fairview High School. And we I'm are wondering what they're going to do here because we are down yeah. quite a bit. And it's looking still cloudy for Fairview here as we uh, are halfway through the second period. Yeah. Because we're now under three minutes and there's only two more periods left in the game. So to be curious, I'm curious to see how we'll come out in the third period. See how aggressive we play, and I feel like it's whoever plays the best at the end will win the game. So looks like it's gonna be Camden's ball. Yeah, it's gonna be Camden's ball, and very high school. Really showing off some great defense today in this game. Uh, how do you think we're playing so far, Dylan? Seeing that we've come back a little bit, playing good defense. How do yeah, we like I said earlier, I think um, we're doing good defensive wise. If we upped our offense, we'd be we'd be matched up with Camden. Camden. Yeah. So it looks like it was a foul. <coughs> against Camden I mean against Fairview and Camden gets some free throws but misses the first and we're going to go for number two here yeah going to go for number two Camden see if she puts it down and she does she swishes it so score now is 28 to 12 and we're just about to come under the two-minute warning. Looks like Camden's, Camden's defense is uh, looking a bit stronger now. Yeah. After that little break there. Looks like they were trying to play a full-court press. Almost like a full-court trap. Trying to get turnovers. And But we broke it. And dribbled it up the court very nicely. Molly with the ball at the top of the key. And... Uh, Molly continuing to look for the open, the open girl, and ooh, nice pass to the corner. Oh, and Sarah up the shot misses, it's almost snagged from Sydney Klein. And oh, and the Camden all the way down the court, but just misses the ball. But Ashley Jordan does tip it, so it'll be Camden's ball. That was a nice pass by Camden, but got deflected. Oh wow! Oh and oh, ooh, and almost and one by Camden. Almost had an and one foul on. Looks like Molly Graham. And number twelve tried to make the drive. She's gonna shoot her first. Oh, and misses her first. She's gonna go for her second. Camden making some substitutions, trying to get some fresh legs in. Last two minutes of the game. Well, sorry, last two minutes before half. And she makes her second. Bringing the score to 29 to 12. And Camden really playing uh, good ball as well as Fairview. Jesse. With a three. Oh, oh, it bounces off the rim just as Sarah did in the first period. But number 12 looks like she has a breakaway and is, oh, and tries to just put it up there easy, trying to make it look easy, but gets packed from uh, Molly Graham. 
No, uh, Jesse. Jesse Bangham. And it's going to be Fairview's ball. And Jesse looking to bring it up court, and she does. Dribbling and dribbles pass. all the way past two players and is out. It's out of bounds. Camden's ball. Coming the other direction. And Camden. Uh, looking to increase their lead a little bit more. Came with some great in. ball movement as always. Yeah, passing it up top. And oh, and Ashley Jordan falls, but gets back up and almost takes the ball back. Camden drives in with the two, but doesn't make it. Jesse starting from uh, our side of the court with the ball again. As Molly throws it to Kyra Bowman as she puts it up and air balls it right over the rim. Yeah. Camden with the ball again going back their way. Yep. Number 12 seems to be their main point guard. She's continually bringing the, call, uh, the ball up the court. And Camden looks like they're going to try to burn some clock before halftime. And oh, under pressure. Oh, but gets the ball. Oh, wow. Oh, Camden down low and puts it up easily. Number 12 with two points. And the score is 12 to 31. And we're under a minute now. 44 Oh, and seconds. Ashley Jordan tries to pass it, but gets tipped off back to Camden with number 12 with another easy layup. And the score is now 30, the 33 to 12. And we are now under 30 seconds. And Sydney Klein hits a girl and she uh, falls down, but still gets two points and two free throws. So let's see what we can do with this. I think they counted that on the floor, but I think we're in the bonus. So I feel like I think it's we get a one and one. Sydney Klein puts it up. Oh, barely missed. No, it. just one shot by Sydney Klein. Oh, and Camden down low down the court again doesn't really work out for them though this time so I think they're gonna run the clock down a little bit and trying to get a trying to get a uh, buzzer beater yeah 14 it looks like left. that's what they're doing 12 oh number four down low and oh who was and they're saying it was off of Camden so Fairview's ball with 10 seconds on the clock Camden's plan really didn't uh, pan out as much as they wanted to for him there yeah pass to Jesse Jesse gonna try to with with the clock wrapping down, four, three, two, one, and the timer goes off. Second that, period ending. And that's halftime, folks. Just another special thanks to uh, the people in here in the broadcasting room, Jordan Fisher, Andy Phillips, Bobby Stevens, Kyle Beck, Josh Whitlock, Ethan Moore, and Dylan Greer. Special thanks to everyone, and a big special thanks to our as always, our executive producer, Mr. King, for all that he does. Great teacher, has really made all this happen. Uh, just to wrap up, it's been a great game on both sides of the court. Both teams have been playing well. Camden playing some great offense and great defense, as well as Fairview. You got any thoughts, Dylan? No, I guess we'll see what happens in the next half here. All right. Hi, I'm Ethan Moore. And I'm Dylan Greer. And welcome to the second half of Fairview High School versus Camden. Score right now, 33-12. to 12. Looking bad for Fairview. Well, we always got a chance, and we got to hold on to that chance tonight. Kyra. Oh, Kyra Bowman with a three. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Drain a good. three for Kyra Bowman. And Camden. Going to dribble up the court. Oh, nice pass to the oh, corner. Oh, number four from the three. Oh, the first three of the night, and she swishes it. 36 to 15 now. Every player on Camden can shoot threes. Yes, sir, they can. <laughs> Camden. Oh. And a whistle blown. Wow. Camden held us to the five second, the ten seconds that you get to pass at half court. Have you heard of that rule? I sure haven't. But now I know. 
you get 10 seconds to get it past half court. And Camden held us to it. <laughs> and Camden looking to pass. <laughs> and passed it out. Camden trying to make that skip pass to the corner, but threw it out of bounds. And Fairview High School going to take it back up the court. <laughs> uh, Fairview High School looking to score. Beautiful three by Kyra just earlier. Uh, <laughs> and, oh, wow. Nice pass down low to Sarah Mangrum. Our Sarah Mangrum won yet. Yes, she did. She made uh, two earlier. Okay. Oh, a three by Camden. Oh, and that one's actually missed. They went over the backboard, so they're going to call it out of bounds. Hit the top and fell back down, but we'll call it that. Well, it went over the back. <laughs> so, Fairview High School bringing the ball back up the court. And so far, it's been sort of even. It's been an even game, back and forth. Yeah, we're just down by uh, what? Oh, oh yeah, 21. <laughs> Not too bad. If you ask me, Sarah with the two and hits the bottom of the backboard. We're shot. <laughs> so, Sarah in issue two. I feel like she can put him in. Sarah with her first. And... She makes it. So that's Sarah's first in the third period. She's had a couple points tonight. Been a key influential player tonight. And with her second. Oh. Oh, and mi just misses. Man, that number 12 is quick. Ooh. The jump shot and the air balls. Oh, but throws it back in. Number four for the three again and misses. Oh, Desiree just had it, but a little too short. But Sarah Manger picks it right back up. Sarah bringing it down the court. And Slowly but surely. Yep. Kyra Bowman trying to drive in. Oh, gets in a trap. Oh, and Molly just Passing tips it. Passing out to Molly. Molly looking to do something with the ball. Oh, and they call it a travel on Molly. And it's going to be Camden's ball with the travel by Molly. So, just real fast, special thanks to, again, to all the people in broadcasting tonight for all their help uh, for filming this game. I know everybody really appreciates it. Uh, not only the people watching it, but uh, just getting the feel, hearing uh, actual people talk about it. And Camden looking to do something with the ball. Oh, nice pass outside. Drano. Oh, but barely backs, bounces off the back of the rim. And looks like they're going to call in some substitutions for Fairview. Drano. I haven't heard that one since about fifth grade. Played on the playground. No lie. No lie. Okay. A little bit of exaggeration. Camden looking to make that. And Kyra. Fairview's ball now. <clears throat> Passes to, I don't know who that was in three, but she did not belong there. That would be number 22. Audrey Cox, was that Audrey Cox? Oh, yes. number 22. I believe so. Carly Orney, oh Lord. Okay. <laughs> so, Camden. Oh, Camden passing around here a little bit. A little ball movement. A little bit of ball movement, yeah. So. Oh, passes way down low. Number passing 12. Passing it back out. Jesse with this almost is still there. Number four tries to dribble down court. Passes it out to the three again. As like Man, they're run. really looking for the best shot they can possibly make this this half. This period, sorry. Camden looking to pass it. She's gonna drive. Oh. Wow. Oh, and number 12 just throws it up there and gets a look. Number 12 shot. with the steal and then the putback <coughs> for the score. Score is now 16 to 38. 
Uh, oh, and M Molly chose to make a pass. Doesn't really work out for her. No, it was Jesse. Yes, Jesse. And score uh, is still 38 to 16. Camden Indeed. up by 22. Uh, so, so far this period, who do you think's been playing the? Uh, who do you think's been? Who do you think came out the strongest this third period? Camden. Is there any reason why? I mean, basically because I score more points and we keep doing that. Camden. That's my explanation. Camden with the fast break and gets fouled. She's going to be shooting too. Fairview High School been playing a good game. Pretty decent. Pretty good. Here in the third period. Just a little over three minutes. Under. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and it makes her first, bringing the score to 39 to 16. Another free throw from Cameron. Oh, makes it second. Very big ball with Jesse throwing it in here. It's going to be. Carly Arnie again. She throws it down court. And the girl got hit in the face, it looks like. Got hit in the face by accident. And it's going to be Fairview High School's ball. And Sarah going to throw it in. And Molly with the ball, looking to pass around the top of the key, looking for their well, shooters. With the three, and she oh. wishes it. Carly Arnie with a redemption shot. Spoke too soon. Yep. <laughs> 19 <coughs> to 40 now. Up by 21. St still. S still. <coughs> yes. Camden. Look at oh, the Oh, and Sarah Mangum with the steal. Almost knocked out of bounds. Dribbles down court. Oh, and just bounces off the back of the rim. Number 12, dribbling out. Audrey Cox trying to catch up to her. Oh, Camden out to the three. Drano. Oh, and 43 and 19. Nice shot up by, by 24 from Camden. Sarah. From the three. Oh, almost goes for a shot. Oh. Down low to Audrey Cox up for a two. Making it look easy. Just a little over two minutes now. Scores 43 to 21. And so far, two fouls against Camden and one foul against Fairview High School. And Camden really playing some good ball. Really making some good plays. Making the three-point shots. They're on fire tonight from the three-point range. Just a little bit. Yep. And looks like that was travel against Camden. And it's going to be Fairview High School ball. Come in the other direction. Ooh, but it's stolen by Camden. And it looks like there was a foul. Camden's ball. And no, my bad. Fairview's ball. Looking for the pass in from the corner. Jesse with the shot. Oh. Tried to make the bank shot. And the putback. For two, and Camden only up by 20 now, and a foul against Ferry High School. So it looks like it's going to be a throw-in from the corner. Uh, and it looks like there were some substitutions in. Going down the court quickly by Camden. Oh, and she was fouled. In the act of shooting, it's going to be two, and she's going to shoot two. Minton 30 left in the game. Mm -hmm. Shoots her first, and she makes it. Score now, 44 to 23. Camden up by 21, and just a little over a minute and 30. Shooting her second, and missing. Barely it. goes off the front of the rim. Sydney Carly fighting over it. 
Uh, Call this ball here. Good dribbling down the court. Pass it to Jesse. Jesse looking to shoot. Back to Carly from the three. Over to Cindy Klein. Cindy looking Cindy to. Cindy dribbles out to the three. Back up to Jesse. Jesse looking to shoot. Looking for somebody to pass through over to Sarah, but those are a little bit too high. Camden, Camden dribbling down court now with an open lane. Oh, and just misses the two. Sarah dribbling down the court. Winding down the third period here. Looking at the three point. Carly from the three. Oh. oh and bounces off the back of the rim here. Looks like Ashley Jordan got that rebound. And Ashley Jordan dribbling. From the three. Oh, oh and swishes it. There's the Jesse. first three from Jesse. Drains a three. Came to the ball with 30 seconds left on the clock in the third period here. 44-26. Yeah. Up by 22 Oh, points nice here. crossover by Camden. And it looks like they're going to call a foul. Push on Camden. No, it looks like it was push on Fairview. Going to be a throw in on the baseline. Uh, oh, yeah, Camden's ball. Mom. Yeah. Camden's ball throw in at the baseline. And great oh, movement. Oh, goes up for two and making it look Great easy. movement by, Fair by Camden. Fairview's ball with 20 seconds left on the clock here. Let's see what they can now do. Now she's going to shoot um, one. It was a two. foul. One in or the two. Act of shooting. Could bring the score back up to a 21 point lead. Oh, barely oh, misses just it. Misses, goes up for the two. And it looks like there's another foul. Calls a foul on number 19. And it's going to be another shooting foul. So she gets That's to shoot 19. two. So. Camden shooting her first, number 19, and swishes it. First shot, it's makes number 12, it. It's it's number 12. 12, sorry, my bad. And score now, 47, 26, up by 21. Oh, up by 22 now, with 19 seconds left on the clock. Slowly ticking down. Fairview looking like they're gonna, oh, no, they're not even gonna think about time. They're just gonna go up for it. Oh, City Clown just misses it with Camden's, Camden's ball, ball with nine seconds. Seven, six, five, four, goes for two. Oh, and just misses. Oh, but gets fouled in the act of shooting, so she'll shoot two. With just about four seconds on the clock, we're going to have two shots here. For Camden. And that'll be Fairview's ball, and we'll see what we can do. Seven fouls for Fairview. That's a lot of fouls that we've committed in this period. Oh. Uh, misses her first, and here she goes for the second. Oh, missing oh, it as second. well. One shoots oh, it. Oh, and just oh. barely misses. Just doesn't have enough to get it there. Yep. We're running down third period there. It's forty-eight twenty-six. <clears throat> How do you think the game's going so far, Dylan? Still, still looking bad for Fairview. I mean, uh, I think we've held the same pace of the, of the game the whole time throughout. It yeah. seems like we've been uh, down the same amount of points throughout the whole time. So I'd say it's been about the same throughout. Yeah, Camden playing some good ball tonight, though, as well as Fairview. Fairview playing great ball. Uh, if there's one thing about Fairview, we're a non-quit team, so. Kind of curious to see how we come out in the fourth period. Hopefully we have some high intensity, some good motivation. Just maybe. So, trying to bring down that lead. And Camden up 48 to 26. So, how do you see this game playing out, Dylan? Honestly, I see Camden winning. Uh, I wish Fairview would, but it feels like... Um, Feels like Camden's gonna pull this one through. Cause nothing's really changing between the teams. We're still down 20 something points. It's just not looking good overall for Fairview. <coughs> We're just basically getting a little outplayed. Win some, you lose some. Yep. Camden with the throw in on the corner. Back Looking. to number 12. Tries to go up for two passes it back out from the free throw and swishes oh, at number 40. Nice who shot. Who just got put in the game, the beginning of the fourth period. 
Nice shot from the <coughs> free throw line. We have Molly Graham at the top of the key here. Going to Kyra Bowman. Over to Desiree. Good ball movement. Audrey Cox going up for the two and is fouled and by Camden. Uh, going to be a fair view. With foul, she's going to shoot her first. And Bailey goes off the back of the rim. So misses her first. And going up for her second. Audrey Cox for a second free throw here. Oh. Oh, and just misses it. Camden's ball. Yeah. They're going to blow the whistle. Still Camden's ball. Number 12 going to yep. throw it in for him here. Yeah. Camden. Going to. Uh, looked to, oh, it looks like she was going to shoot. Camden from the three. Sarah Pangram almost packs it, but no need. They miss anyway. Yep. Oh, looks like Fairview's going to fight over the ball themselves. Passes it to Kyra Bowman as she dribbles down the court. Kyra. Going to pass to Molly at the top here. Top of the key. Passes to Sarah in the corner. Oh, and she knocks the ball out of bounds. Fairview. Sarah Pangram going to throw it in here. Yep. Sarah Mangrum throwing it in from the corner. Over to Molly. Molly over to Kyra. Kyra over to Audrey. Down to Desiree. Oh, and Desiree uh, walks with the ball here. And it's going to be Camden's ball going back the other direction. Yep. So, <clears throat> Camden, uh, we are now on our way. And on the last period of the game, of the last game of the season, and we've played good this season. I feel like it's been a great season for Fairview. We've played well. Camden gonna drive. And got fouled. Looks like she's gonna shoot two. Been a lot of fouls this game. I feel like it's been continually on the line this game. Indeed, indeed. So Camden gonna shoot her first, number four. Makes her first. Gonna shoot her second. Score now, 26 to 51. Camden up by 20, 25. No. And here is Fairview with the ball. Sam so Ringham throwing into Carly Orney, who's back in the game. Yeah. Oh, he dribbles around the three, passes it to Audrey down low, goes up for two. Oh, and just throws it over the rim. Now we have Cameron, Cameron driving out the ball with Audrey Cox trying to steal it from the three. Oh, but there's Sydney Klein to steal the ball, trying to steal the ball away from him. I think it was Kyra. Oh, it is Kyra. Okay. Kyra. Oh, and smacks the ground, number four, as she bobbles her feet. Molly taking advantage of their players lost oh, and making wow. it look easy. Dribbling through the defense. Nice take by Molly. Nice drive. Ooh, nice pass. And nice shot. Uh, with a three-point shot for Camden. <laughs> and Kyra looks like that's Carly to Desiree, Desiree with the shot. It looks like she got fouled in the act of shooting. And, uh, no. I don't know what's happening. Oh, no. <laughs> it looks like it was actually a foul against Fairview. And Cameron's gonna shoot two. Well, a one and one. Number 12 again at the free throw. She's been playing a good game. She's had a lot of points this game. She's had about most of them. So with her first, makes her first. And she's going to shoot her second. Uh, just a little over five minutes. And. Please. <laughs> and. Baby High School. <laughs> going to dribble up the court. And gonna pass it to Kyra back. 
Uh, to Kira. No. Kyra. Kyra. My fault. Ooh, makes it two. And we now are down by 25 points. We're well, about five minutes left on the in the fourth period here. Nice pass down low. Camden's still trying to put up more points. And it looks like there was a foul in the act of shooting. It looks like she's gonna shoot two. So, uh, four minutes left in the last period of this game. Misses her first. Uh, and she's gonna shoot a second. Uh, and with this make, it'll bring their lead up to 26 points. And she makes it, 26 points, 26 point lead. Score now 56 to 30. Uh, just a little, uh, it's about five minutes left in the game. Kyra with the ball. Uh, looking to Carly shoot. Carly from the three. Oh, and just hits Carly. the front of the rim. Goes up for a two. Oh, wow. Makes two points. Gets her own rebound. Drives and makes it. Very and nice shot by Carly. Good shot by Carly. And uh, Camden. From the three. Oh. oh just bounces off the Front rim. of the rim. Carly Arney dribbling down the court. Oh, trying to do her own thing here. Passes it over to Molly. Jesse at the three. Back to Back Carly. Back to Carly from the top. Carly to Jesse. Jesse looking to shoot. Jackets trying to find something to do. Jesse from the long shot. Oh, Ooh. Carly tries to drive in again and just bounces off the backboard. This is the ring. And she's going to shoot two. Uh, foul in the act of shooting. <sighs> and uh, so far, it's been a good game so far here at Fairview High School. I feel like this has been two even teams playing each other. I feel like either or one of these teams could win. And and they're gonna make some quick substitutions out uh, with her second free throw. Uh, missed her first, and it's gonna be her second. Shoots it. And she misses. Uh, but gets her own rebound. And passing it, great pass. And a shot. Ashley Jordan from the three, air balls. Cindy Klein shows the Save it. Doesn't really work out for her. Yep. Good try, though, by Sydney. And so it's going to be Camden's ball with the throw in. And Camden kind of, it seems like in the first couple periods of the game, they were making those really long passes uh, across the court. And it seems like the further they've gotten in the game, the more structured their passes have become uh, and uh, as well as Fairview very good game on both ends of the court so Camden dribbling wow nice pass uh, drives in for the two and doesn't show for it let's see if Fairview ball with Sidney Klein driving down here passing it over to Molly Molly over to Sydney again. Sydney, Sydney tries breaking to go through. in. Oh, but doesn't get the pass off in time. And, and it looks like she was fouled. Fouled. Yeah. She's gonna be shooting two. Score still 56 to 32, but we're now under three minutes left in the game. Very close to the end of the game now. And it looks like it's gonna be a throw-in, not a shot. Still same about the even score that we were down by. It's still in the first period, down by 24 oh, here. nice pass. Nice throw-in pass from the baseline to Fairview uh, with the layup for Sydney. Good shot, Camden. Nice pass to the corner up top. Camden's really been playing a great game tonight. 
Oh, makes a bad pass. Throws looks it like, out. Looks like she was trying to pass down low, but the girl just wasn't there. No, and that was a bad pass. It wasn't her fault. And so, Fairview going to throw it in. Dribbling it up down the court. Looks like it's Ashley with the ball. Over to Kyra. Oh, and Sandy tries to put it up, but still doesn't make it. It looks like she might have tripped over her own. Foot. Might have tripped. And so uh, she barely missed. Nice shot. Oh, I thought that shot went in. But it. we are now up under a minute left. Uh, left in this game. Uh, Fairview only down by 20 now. You said under a minute? Sorry, my fault. Under two minutes. And Fairview High School. Going to dribble it down the court. Oh, and Carly trying to chase the ball. Saves it. But throws it back in. Came all the way down court. Tried, saved by Jesse. But just oh, doesn't wow. get there. Nice passing across. Not by Ashley Jordan, it was. Nice pass by Camden down low for the easy layup. Looks like there was a timeout called. Oh no. Looks like he's calling traveling. And. Uh, yeah. Never mind. It's going to be Fairview High School's ball still. Only about a minute, 30 seconds left on the clock here in the fourth period. Yep. Game almost coming to an end here. Yep. Throw in from the side. 58 36, down by 22. Over to Carly. Still sticking in there. Yep. Carly dripping lit up top. Over to Haley Savage. Over to Carly. Carly shoots a two. Bounces off oh, the rim. Rebound for Camden. And Camden going to draw it. Going to push the ball. Oh, but it's Ashley a steal. Jordan steals it. Goes up for the layup. Oh, Carly puts it up. Misses it too. Goes up again. Misses again. Oh, and just doesn't pull through. Uh, we are now under a minute left. We got 50 seconds left in this game. Uh, and Ashley Jordan going to throw it in out top. Haley Savage, oh, hits the right of the rim. Camden going to dribble down the court, pushing the ball. Oh, nice Camden pass. Camden goes down low. Oh, fakes her out, and foul is called. No, it looks like they called a traveling, traveling call. Traveling call. Who's that? Who's and... That? Uh, Fairview, nice drive by Fairview. And gonna it up shoot again. it again Sh and makes, makes it. it. I think it was Haley Savage on the Score shot. Score now, 38 to 58. Uh, Camden up by 20. Nice drive. Oh, barely bounced off the front of the rim. Well, five seconds, seconds left. left here. Coming to the fourth period, Haley Savage shoots it up. It's oh. the back of the rebound. Oh, Carly Arnie almost that puts is up for a game. layup. Uh, final score, Camden versus Fairview High School. Camden, 58. Fairview High School, 38. Camden winning by 20. Special thanks uh, to all those who helped today uh, for broadcasting. Jordan Fisher as producer, Annie Phillips, Bobby Stevens, Kyle Beck, and Josh Wicklock as camera, and Ethan Moore and Dylan Greer as commentators. And also a very special thanks to executive producer uh, Bob King for all that he does. And I uh, thought it was a good game tonight. thought it was a good equal effort on both ends of the court. I felt like it was a great game, very even. Uh, what's your thoughts, Dylan, just to wrap it up? About the same. Both sides play very good. Um, very um, trying their hardest even till the end. Both good, both good effort on both sides. Well, thank you all for watching. I'm Ethan Moore. I'm Dylan Greer. Signing off.